This is the ALPS press module tutorial. This is the pressure hot end, or you can call it the pressure heat sink. Then the pressure leveling main board. This is the cable for adapting the tool board. There is also the wire of the UART that makes the terminals. Its connection method is the button to connect to the main board. The other side is connected to the pressure sensor. Let's start with the ALPS pressure module wiring. All metal board has UART interface. The back of the board features silkscreen annotations that identify interface pin configurations. Just find the interface and connect it directly. Make sure verify that the cable pinout matches the motherboard's pin definitions. The wiring of the toolboard is more complicated. Here's show you how to make a terminal. Remove the terminal and position it onto the crimping tool. Then put the wire in. Then we connect it to the terminals according to the wire sequence of the toolboard. The red wire is on the left side. Then connect in order. Let's install the jumper first. Then connect it to the tool board. Connect it to the leveling module and it's all set. If there is no URT interface and you don't use the tool board, just connect the wires to other pins like this. After wiring, make sure the module is securely installed. The white wire is PA10 and the yellow wire is PA9. Once the wiring is complete, we jump to next step. After we connect it, power it on to see if the module is working. And if the light's on, that means the module is working. Come to the computer. Jump to MeloWeb first to view the document. Find modules and expansion boards. Find the ALPS pressure leveling module. Here is the introduction and instructions for first-time users. Please read the following. Then enter the IP address of the host computer to connect to Fluid. Then we copy and paste it into printer.cfg. This is the recommended configuration file content for reference only. Please adjust it according to your specific printer. Then we are connecting the computer USB port.
To enable the module, we need to copy this command to the console. Then we press to test it. Press hard and the light will light up. It is normal that the light will go out when you release it. Let's put it together. After installing the print head, we first connect the control panel to the computer with the USB Type-C data cable. We can test it multiple times to ensure the module is working properly before installing it on the printer. The print head must be securely installed before inserting the Type-C cable. Remember to secure the small control board to prevent it from becoming loose. Avoid not contact caused by vibrations during printing. Let's install the Serial Port Debugging Assistant first. Serial Port Tool Assistant Download Because this application may be inconvenient to download and install from the Microsoft Store. We can download and install it on the web page first, so there is no need to log in. Let's select the corresponding COM port and BOD rate. Enter V first, then click the send button. Check whether the real-time data has a large deviation. A large deviation is considered abnormal. Enter RT and send. Default trigger value. The smaller the value of 20,000, the more sensitive it is. And the larger the value, the less sensitive it is. After our test, we recommend setting it to around 10,000. Now, the trigger threshold is 10,000. Just check at the last number. Our test is relatively stable around 10,000. You can refer to this value. This is only a recommended value. Please calibrate according to the actual situation of the printer. If there is an SCAO, you can put it down to test the pressure. Then the Z-axis returns to see if it fits. Remember to adjust the unit of the electronic scale to grams. Then click on the Z-axis to return. Change the Z-axis to zero. It's better to have a little pressure like this. If there is no electronic scale, we will debug from small number. We recommend that the trigger threshold be set at a higher level without false triggering. So we have to measure the threshold of the interval where it will miss. And if it is larger, it is the threshold of its normal operation. If the appropriate threshold is tested, the first layer test will be played. That if you are not sure whether the leveling configuration is working, Please be prepared to stop and unplug the power at any time. 